Hey viewers, and welcome to Let's Play Homeworld. Now this is a bit of a classic game, relatively speaking. It was released in 1999 by Sierra, and actually made by Relic. Really solid game. Uh, one of the first games, if not the first games, I think, to offer full 3D movement in an RTS. Really good story as well for an RTS, uh, kind of a space-based opera. Now, quick note, there's a lot of history and backstory and just story in this game that's in the manual, which, of course, you probably don't have, viewers. So I'm going to put a link down below the video showing, well, the homeworld wiki, basically. Now, that's a bit of a minefield because you can, of course, end up learning a bit too much. So there are story spoilers at risk, but to really get the game, it kind of helps to know all that. The problem being, of course, that it'll be summarized, not the actual stuff in the manual. And finding the manual online and reading it may be a bit too much work. But without further ado, here we go and let the story begin. One hundred years ago, a satellite detected an object under the sands of the Great Desert. An expedition was sent. An ancient starship buried in the sand. Deep inside the ruin was a single stone that would change the course of our history forever. On the stone was etched a galactic map and a single word more ancient than the clans themselves. Higara. Our home. The clans were united, and a massive colony ship was designed. Construction would take 60 years. It would demand new technologies, new industries, and new sacrifices. The greatest of these was made by the scientist Karen Sajet, who had herself permanently integrated into the colony ship as its living core. She is now Fleet Command. The promise of the Guide Stone united the entire population. Every mind became focused on the true origin of our people every effort on the construction of the ship that would seek it out among the stars. This is Fleet Command, reporting Mothership pre-launch status. Command online. Resourcing online. Construction online. Cryogenic subsections A through J online. K through S, 
online. Scaffold control, stand by for alignment. Alignment confirmed. Stand by, release control. The mothership has cleared the scaffold. We are away. Stand by for command line testing. Command line green, initial fleet in position. Fleet intelligence going online. Our task is to analyze all sensor data and generate mission objectives. Before the hyperdrive test, several trials must be completed. I'm cheating. Test construction by building the primary research ship. Test resource processing by harvesting the asteroids provided nearby. Hyperspace module charging. 35% capacity and rising. The mothership will be ready for the hyperdrive test in 10 minutes. Quite the opening, eh, viewers? Very majestic. Really makes me wish for an HD remake, or you know, Homeworld 3 would be nice too. Stand by to begin combat trials. First, we will be monitoring formation performance. Target drones have been provided here. Assign a formation to your fighters and destroy the drones. All right, so formations. Destination confirmed. Do we actually make your ships a bit more effective? We're going to go X. It's a good pattern for interceptors. Well, scouts like these guys here. Really, any kind of fighter class for the most part. Now with bombers, occasionally, you're going to want to use spheres. The bombers just surround the enemy ship and blast it to hell. The primary research ship has been constructed. The research division is online. Begin fighter chassis research immediately. I'm so far ahead of you. So, this research will give us interceptors and also move us along towards the aforementioned attack bombers. You notice we've got more slots here for research ships. You don't really need to build more of them, but Target destroyed. I usually do. Yeah, Commencing you heavy fighter chassis research. Yeah, unless the game didn't stop while I was doing that. Destination locked in. Formation trial complete. Flight analysis shows a 22% increase in combat performance. Quick learners. The next trial will test the effectiveness of tactics. Stand by to begin tactics trial. Use aggressive or evasive tactics and engage the target drones here. Pretty straightforward. I suppose I can show you that 3D movement I mentioned before. So you can see that those... There, now I'm lined up and I can hold shift and move down and you want to align it. Correctly. Okay. Now, for the purpose of tactics, neutral is neutral, evasive is more speed, less damage, aggressive is less speed, more damage. Pretty Doing straightforward. Diverting power to weapons. Focus in on these guys and band select. Band select. Lock on target. They'll shoot through those guys pretty quickly. So, actually, let's duck out of that and head back to the mothership. So, the mothership. Couple of point defense turrets, not a whole lot of firepower otherwise, and there's our resourcer finishing harvesting all the asteroids that were over here. Now in single player, this guy can't move. I assume to make the game a bit more challenging because it is fairly tank-like, even though it doesn't have a lot of firepower. Versus well, you'll see later on. Frigates and special destroyers, especially heavy cruisers. But in the early levels it would still make enough of a difference. Available resources consumed. There's that. There's my research ship, which 
as you can imagine, looks a lot better with six forming the full circle, and the scaffolding that built the mothership over the past oof, 60 years or so, and our cryo trays, which hold the population going on the mothership for the journey back home. Copies. You guys are still at it? Come on now. Target destroyed. Holding pattern locked in. It went aggressive. Standing by. Back here. There we go. Coordinates confirmed. Okay. Tactics trial complete. Yay. The next trial will test the performance of the salvage corvette. Build one and capture the target drone here. Yeah, as you can see, I skipped the tutorial for Homeworld because the first level is kind of a tutorial. Heavy fighter chassis research complete. Oh, there you go. So interceptors. So. Interceptor available for construction. More armor. Production S underway. Slightly less speed, but more than twice the firepower. So definitely more effective. Hopefully you won't need to worry about that too yet. After all, this is a peaceful mission of ex exploration. Homeward bound, viewers. And the salvage corvette we're building is kind of the linchpin of playing Homeworld. At least the first one. Like most RTSs, you have a unit salvage cap. Salvage corvette complete. You can only build so many destroyers, so many Reporting. fighters, so many corvettes. Target selected for salvaging. But there's no limit to how many you can capture. So you're going to see me using a lot of these, because the larger the target, the more salvage corvettes you need. But... Once the salvage corvettes are locked on, once you have enough of them on your target, the target is basically shut down. It can't move, fire, or anything. So you just drag him back to the mothership and convert it. Now, salvaging fighters, doable, really hard. Same with corvettes. But when you start getting into the frigate class and higher, including things like heavy cruisers, which are the big hitters in the game, as well as a few other ships you can't normally build, like multi-beam frigates, and again, we'll get to those later, like around mission 9 or so. Hauling those guys in makes the game a lot easier. It's also a really good feeling of satisfaction pulling it off. Downside here is, of course, they are really slow. There he goes. Now, quick note. As I mentioned, this game was published in 99. 1999, that is. I guess that'll be a thing now. Anyhow, really hard to play for me because I haven't... I haven't touched this game in years, probably at least five, probably more. I mean, the game itself isn't that hard, but doing what I'm going to do, salvaging, that's tricky. So, in this Let's Play viewers, you might be seeing a lot of reloads and a lot of swearing. Um, I do try not to swear pointlessly unless something really pisses me off, or you know, the game itself is full of that kind of language, because then you're just fitting right in. But overall, yeah. You can do a perfect run, which includes salvaging basically every capital ship that can be salvaged without modifying the game's files. I'm not going to go quite that crazy, but... There are a few specific targets I have in mind. I'm looking at you, Gardens of Kadesh. What really makes this game fantastic, except for the fact I can scale it up still more than 10 years after its release, and it still looks not bad, for the time period, of course, is that the music is incredible. Stand by for a hyperdrive test. Internal pressure doors sealed. Abort system standing by. Abort! Hyperspace module fully charged. I am ready to initiate quantum wave generation on your mark. Good luck, everyone. All sections have reported in. We are clear to proceed. Trigger the hyperspace drive at your discretion. So a couple quick things about what to expect from the videos here. Auto docking. Resourcing in this game is cumulative. So whatever resources you harvest, carry over to the next mission. Likewise, anything you spend stays spent. Unfortunately, there is no auto harvest available on each level after you complete the objectives. So I'm going to try and do all that and any leftover research off screen just to save some time in the video. Hopefully I will remember that promise I'm making right now, but we'll see. One thing you can do is they do have an auto dock, so that's something at least, but yeah. Poor little research ship. So yeah, end of level stuff, 
harvesting, rebuilding my fleet, I'll off-screen that and then jump back in once I've got everything wrapped up and we're ready to move on. I'll be saving the game at the start of each new level so we get to see all the movies and the storyline. And I think that's just about it. So, quick dock. Go. Hyperspace initiated. Here's the... I wonder how that feels if you're watching that wave front come towards you, watching yourself blink. If you hold your arms out in front of yourself... All hyperspace systems operating at full power. If the hyperspace targeting system is accurate, we will emerge in close proximity to the support vessel Car Salim. This ship has spent the past ten years traveling on conventional drives to reach the outer Karak system. The Car Salim will monitor the quantum waveform as we return to normal space and assist in tuning our drive control systems. If the hyperspace module malfunctions, the Car Salim will provide assistance and resupply. Mission objectives will be to dock with the support vessel in order to complete adjustments to the mothership and her drives. Pretty straightforward. All ships auto launching. All right, here we are, the outskirts of the Karak system. Now, I've got another save here since this is about the fourth time I've tried to record this successfully in this resolution. But I think everything is going okay so far. Thank you for watching the first video, and hopefully you'll be back for the next one, and the one after that. I really loved this game when it came out, I still love it, and hopefully you'll all watch it through here with me. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.